hiya welcome back to my youtube channel i'm rosie henshaw if you're new here then welcome it's lovely to meet you grab yourselves a nice hot drink and let's get into today's video there's a little bit of thrifting some cooking and a haul in this as well and a get ready with me so hopefully you'll enjoy so i'm going to start off now with cleansing my face getting ready for the day i'm going to be showing you my absolute favorite product that i've been using recently and this is the number seven cleansing balm this is the dupe of the elemis one but this is like 12 pound and it's absolutely incredible i usually double cleanse with this but i'm having a little bit of a breakout at the moment so i'm going in with my cerave after as well and i help this really helps with the blemishes um, and then i'm going to go in clean my teeth i do get asked quite a lot how i keep my teeth from staining and stuff and i swear by this smoker's toothpaste with the white setting on my electric toothbrush and then this is honestly the best cream i will link this below this is the number seven moisturizing cream with spf in it um, and it just makes my skin look all glassy and shiny and i will let this soak in but i do love the look of this hi guys so i'm gonna get quickly my makeup on just before we gotta leave um so i'm dressed i'm just wearing my jeans and a t-shirt and yeah i'm all ready to go so i'm gonna put some makeup on i have let the uh, moisturizer soak in it's got an spf in it it's amazing over night time i will use my skin and me daily doser with like a plain moisturizer because it's quite strong for my skin and it helps it look better the next morning and um, it's much better but during the day i wanted a cream with an spf in it because i'm getting a bit into skincare as i'm getting a bit older um so yeah even though i know i'm not old i'm just trying to look after my skin now so yeah i've got a really nice one it's got spf in it and that's number seven and there was three for two and i definitely recommend that um cleanser it's like the cheapest one on the market don't oh don't all go buy it though and then i can't get it guys but it is literally amazing it's like 12 pound um and it's better than like the elemis ones and they're like 30 40 quid um so i am going to put my makeup on i'm loving the shine today so i'm going to put a bit of me filter i literally rarely use this unless i'm having a night out it's the um filter charlotte tilbury in number four medium but i never really use it unless it's a night out but i thought you know what why not on a miserable day and then i just use the number six beautiful skin by charlotte tilbury i've got to be honest with you i said a lot of times i invested in a lot of these bits while um they was in the black friday sales last year i got a, a few bits in bulk but to be honest with you i found that hello hello you're doing a food shopping yeah, I found that um, basically my skin is a bit of a pain in the bum, to be honest with you. It's spotty, I get psoriasis, I get like really oily areas too. And I just wanted to invest in some nice skincare and some nice makeup. And to be honest, I rate the foundation, but there's a lot of things that I think you definitely could do without, if that makes sense. Like there's other things on the market that are better. Um, so... I'm still keeping some of the Charlotte Tilbury items. I mean, some of them are doing so long that they last for ages. But it's like a really nice, it's not like, a, I wouldn't say it's a complete full coverage. But if you look as well, guys, that um, Equal toothpaste, it just gets rid of any stains, surface stains off your teeth. So that's the foundation. You can still see bits of my skin through it. Then I'm going in my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. To be honest with you, when this runs out, I won't be using this. Um, so yeah, it's nearly it's nearly gone now. But I won't be I won't be using this once it runs out because I don't actually think it's the best thing in the world. Um, going to be umpa lumpery here, but you have got to blend it in. It's a cream bronzer, um, and I've just washed my makeup brushes, so I feel like it's going on thicker for some reason, which makes no sense as it would have been caked up before um it is good don't get me wrong um but my rimmel one was just as good to be honest with you so i will be going back to my trusty rimmel bronze after that but it is the cream one and i wear what color do i wear medium i was using the charlotte tilbury blush gasm but now i'm just using the one pound 50 one from primark and do you know what it doesn't say what color it is on the back it did have a stick on the front i think it's called dusty rose um, but this is the colour I've been using because I actually prefer it. A bit on my nose, a bit on my forehead to make it look like I'm a bit sun-kissed. And a little bit on my chest. I've been using that one. I do have a little few dark circles under my eyes. Not that you can really see them too well. So I always do the little corners. And then 
with my foundation brush before I go in with my um, powder I just go over my eyes with the blusher brush I'm going in with a powder now I will say this airbrush powder the number one finish from Charlotte Tilbury I would recommend this as well so the blusher not anymore bronzer not anymore the foundation and the powder I mean it will just take that shine away but it's not cakey it's really nice so spend where you need to don't where you don't need to so the mascara i was using charlotte tilbury mascara um, and it's nearly all gone now i was using the push-up lashes did like that did rate it obviously it's not in the sale anymore um, and I needed to work out whether I really wanted to wear it. I did find it had left a lot of transfer underneath my eyes. Um, so I've gone back to my waterproof Rimmel mascara for Pan Five or Pamson. Can't go wrong. Can I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow on though. And I do use the Charlotte Tilbury one for that. So I use the Luxury Palette Pillar Talk one. You can see what ones I really use all the time. So, sorry guys, I have to sort of look at this bit to see. What I'm doing, go over all the eyelids. To be honest with you, it's very similar to like blushy colours. I've seen that they've got like similar palettes in Revolution. I've just not seen ones with the pigmentation and like shimmery. And I just like to sort of build up my eye. of eyeliner i'm going to use the mascara the rimmel one sometimes i'll curl my lashes it depends so mascara's on i like the way it looks it's just like a pretty kick that you get with it um so dark brown natural collection eyebrow pencil i literally just go over my eyebrows i did have these um powder brows um a couple of years ago by my friend so i just literally fill in a little bit at the front i didn't get microblading because she said that on some people's skin tones they end up with like scar tissue and they go either orange or blue so she didn't recommend that which i think is pretty cool considering she could have just done it and made me like super happy with my brows on that moment and then you know hate them after like i mean i don't have anything on this bit here and they just like normal eyebrows which i didn't have any Especially if you go back to any of my old videos of the makeup -y ones. <laughs> no eyebrows at all. Right. And then what I do is go in with the Max Factor, the Maybelline Express in the dark brown. And I just pick up the hairs. And then brush them up a little bit. This is quite good. I've actually just ordered another one off Amazon. They're £6 on Amazon rather than in the shops. I think they're 9 Um, I think I got this one on offer for like £7. I go through these quite quickly. I'll say I go through these like once every two months because I've got barely any eyebrows. Then we've got our eyebrows. And then I go in with my lipstick, which is Taupe from MAC. And I'll just go on. And then with my finger, blend it in. Any left over. Just put my cheeks. Oh, I ain't got my setting spray. Setting spray is the Charlotte Tilbury, but I will be honest with you, this one stays on all day. I was using the um, the sporty one from Rimmel and it was good, but nothing really beats this. So for my foundation, for my setting powder, my setting spray, I've gone big with them and actually they last all day and I get so many compliments on it. It smells good too. Right, there we go. Face. I'm going to go now. I'm going to take the uh, Millie to score. I've got to take my friend's girls to score as well because her car's not working. Gary's actually off today um, and he's going to take the boys to score for me. Um, so I am going to go and uh, then I'll get back to you when I go to the car garage because I'm going to go to the Everything's a Pound charity shop. So I will sort my hair out a little bit as well, but I'm in a rush. I've got to go. <laughs> Uh, I've got another one because this is the one that we had in the living room. There's exactly the same one, 20 pounds. I'm gonna. 
So guys, as you'll see, it is the next day. Was planning on filming just the whole day, um, but that didn't quite work out. So it's the next day now. I'm gonna show you what I got from the charity shop. Um, so we ended up getting home, ye um, home yesterday and basically a family member rang up and needed to go help a family member. So I thought obviously I wouldn't be filming that. By the time I got home, it was quite late-ish, school run time, kids are home and chaos. So I thought I'll film today and show you what I picked up from there. I am so chuffed with what I managed to get. Um, so you may have seen a few little clips in the video previous I don't know how I'm gonna edit this I've got it because it was yesterday I've already forgot um so for a pound I got this cake stand so it's just a plain white porcelain one guys but do you know what this is perfect because I love having on my plain white porcelain um especially for like my surf where I get a lot of it from TK Maxx with the bobble stuff on it and I've got a cake stand and I got from a charity shop a few years ago with bobbles on it that's white so when I have parties or my friends come over do a little afternoon tea for a pound. You can't go wrong. So I've got this little one as well. I might even use a bit of rub and buff on this. Um, so obviously the food won't be touching this bit in the gold. I know I've got silver in my kitchen, but I think for my table wax, a lot of my salad servers and stuff are gold. So I might do that. Um, but I got that for a pound. Then I thought this would be a pound too, but they marked it down as 50p. I got this little cute, like Sophie Allport. So Sophie Allport's a really good brand. She's a little tea bag holder. Um, so that was good. And very Valentine's-y too. Um, so I got that as well. That was only 50p in there. And then I got for a pound my huge fish plate. Now I love this. Obviously everything needs a wash. It's all sticky and got newspaper and residue and stuff on. Once this has had like a little bleach bath and then I wash it normally after and um, I thought this would be great but it wasn't until I got it home that I realised I don't think it was anyway because it was yesterday and my memory's shocking this is Gisela Graham so these are quite pricey these are so I was so pleased I got this for a pound so you know if we have a bit of salmon or some sushi I can put it on this plate I thought that'd be quite cute as well so I got that as well for a pound so for like £2.50 I've got a Sophie Allport tea bag holder a Gisela Graham plate and a cake stand £2.50 like, you cannot go wrong. This is why I always recommend going to the charity shops. And then I went into the next door charity shop and got this. Now, this was £2. But if you watched um, my video where I upcycled Albert's chest of drawers, it's all green. But on the very, very top drawer, he's got blue scallops that I painted on with plates. The second drawer has orange um, side bits on it. The third drawer has pink scallops going the opposite direction. And the other drawer has yellow stripes. These are exactly the colours that I painted onto his dresser, which is quite random, but crazy. So I thought this would be perfect. So I'm going to hang this up in his room and just get a few little hanging baskets and he can have a few books in it, his little teddies, just a few little bits. So I thought that'd be quite good. Or he can hang his little backpack on it. You know, he loves carrying his little backpack with his little cars and stuff in it. So £2, this is originally a flea sat one from Ikea. Um, but yeah, £2, can't go wrong. And then my favourite purchase of the whole day. So I will show you a little clip now as well. What I'll do is I'll show you once I've shown you the lamp. Um, so I did buy a lamp from a charity shop a few months back now. And I honestly, I kid you not, get asked about it at least four or five times a day on my Instagram. Where did I get my lamp from? If I do a video from my YouTube, where's the lamp from in the background? Now, I saw a gorgeous lamp way out of my price range. Couldn't afford or justified it. Um, and it was really lovely. I wanted to have a really nice floor standing lamp because I didn't want a unit in there. I wanted the floor space free. Um, anyway, so I thought, right, there's got to be a way that I can replicate this. So I went to a charity shop, found a floor standing lamp. I think that was £20 as well. I think I might pay 15 for that. Dark mahogany wood. Um, so what I've done is I used the oven spray hack sprayed it, got most of the varnish off, and then I went in with a sander. And now the wood is like this sort of wood, like from my cake stand, that really lovely sort of like washed, rustic, recycled wood. But it was dark mahogany. However, I wanted to have one in my snug area, um, which is part of the new extension where the sofa is, because we've got the sofa and that in there. But I don't want more furniture in there, like I say. I just want it nice and clear. So I thought I've been on the lookout for one. When I saw it in the charity shop, you see my little dance when I get it. I was just like, yay! It did come with a huge lamp stand, like a sh lampshade. I did say to the guys, only going to end up getting thrown away like to the tip or to another charity shop. And if they can't take it, then we'll discard a bit. Um, because... I didn't need that big massive shade. Now I know some people can do amazing things with shades. When we lived up our flat, our very first flat, me and Gary, I had this huge, huge architectural like 
tripod lamp, like the wooden legs on it were like this, guys. My mum sourced it off eBay for me for like eighty pound, but it was like something that was worth like a thousand. It was like a huge, huge lamp, really lovely. But the shade on it was so big. But like, I kid you not, it was like this, like 100 centimetre shades. It was really narrow that went round it. And the person that had had it, it was like a beigey cream. But it had gone a bit yellowy. So i done that, you know, like the fabric painting trick. Tried to get a lampshade for it, couldn't. So I know that it does look great when the lamp's turned off. But whenever you paint a lampshade, as soon as you turn the light on, you can see it for it. I don't matter how many coats you do. So I just thought, before people say, you could have done something with a lampshade. I'm not that talented. All the painting is just looks awful when it's on this this is what i'm needing for to be on so i'm going to give this a good wash 20 pounds it is exactly the same as my other lamp and i will go and show you what the other one looks like so you can see for reference and um, one good thing is in the charity shop they pack test it all to make sure the electrics are working i'm going to give this a little wipe over it's a little bit grubby around near the plug um give it a good there's no there's a few little scuffs here but that's it but there are no dinks actually in the wood i'm going to sand this down I was really lucky um, with the last lamp, so I went online onto eBay and managed to get a, um, oh, what was it called? I think it's Doodles. It's like a website. Can't think now, but it's like a pleated lampshade. Um, but uh, Pookie, Pookie. Um, but their lampshades are like really expensive for like £80, but I paid really, really cheaply for this brand new one. Someone had ordered it, didn't like the colour, but they took it all out of the packaging. Pookie couldn't set, could take it back. Um, this is what the lady said in the description. So I paid for it, had it delivered, and it was just lovely, like a perfect brand new lampshade for the lamp. So this might be without a lampshade for a little while. I'm going to have to sand this down, get it ready and prepared, and then I'll wait and see if another one comes up. I'm going to have a little scale on eBay again. I probably won't be able to get anything similar dead on as a match and um, there is a different room so I'm hoping to still get a pleated one and um, but we'll see how we get on and um, because there's no point spending an 80 pound on a lampshade otherwise should have just bought the expensive one in the first place and um, so yeah I'm going to sign that down but 20 pound I've got that one for as well so I was really chuffed with that I thought as well, while I'm in the middle of doing this, it's the next day, I'm dressed up very Valentine's-y. I'm gonna make myself a nice little pot of tea. I've got the little Valentine's-y teapot out, as it is Valentine's. I thought I'd show you a couple of other bits. So I got a few other little bits while I was out um, yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, I was really busy, I had to go home. But you did get quite late, so I got the kids home, done their dinner, bits like that, and then I run to the shops late at night once Albert was in bed and I went to Sainsbury's. Now Sainsbury's had some really nice bits, so I thought I'd share with you. And these bits got I got a couple of weeks ago, and um, but they still have them in there, but I might as well show you as well. So I have actually shoved them in a drawer because I picked them up and you know what I do? I put them in a special drawer so that Gary doesn't know I've bought new stuff. And I get it out and just pretend that it's just been there the whole time. No one is to ever know. Um, <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you anyway, guys. So let me grab the bits. So I'm going to show you while we're in this part of the video. Um, so I do do the kids' Valentine tampers, which they really love. So I don't go all out. I've just got them some like little um, heart-shaped lollipops that I got from Home Bargains. You may have seen them. I also got some little heart chocolates. So we'll have them. Um, and I like to get them some PJs. I get my card, I write like nice words and stuff into them. Um, but a pair of PJs, now to be honest with you, I always say this. Now, a lot of people might be like, why do you buy PJs for every occasion? It's very extra and a waste of money. Now, the way I see it is children need PJs throughout the year, don't they? So I always just think, right, so if they need eight pair of pajamas in their life for the year, <laughs> One of them I'll make sure of Valentine's, one, one I'll make sure of Easter, one I'll make sure of Christmas, one I'll make sure, do you know what I mean? I just make sure that all the occasions, there's a pair and then I just get them some plain ones. So, you know, a lot of the times the Christmas ones, I forget the striped ones that I had, not last year, the year before, they'll just wear them for Valentine's, don't bother getting some Valentine's-y ones. But I saw these and I thought, I'm gonna get them. Um, so I got, let me show you the little pair, Albert's ones are really sweet, they're so tiny. Um, so I got these little love is all you need. These were £8 for the smaller size, £10 for the larger sizes. But they're like the little white trousers, the little red hearts on them, and then the little top love is all you need. And they're just going to be lovely for all year, but I thought that'd be really cute. And Alfie's birthday is Valentine's. So what I'm going to do is, is um, and that's on Wednesday. So what I'm going to do is on the Friday night, I'm going to give them their little special PJs and I'm going to do a really nice like little... Dinners, picky bits, and then for breakfast on the Saturday morning, I'm going to do like heart pancakes, the strawberries cut like hearts, and just do some cute things and give them their cards and their lollipops. And I know they'll appreciate it. 
I also got myself a mug for three pound fifty. So for three pound fifty, they did have a smaller one, which was two fifty. Three pound fifty from Sainsbury's. Look how lovely this mug is. This is just going to be getting pulled out all the time. I love it, and I think it matches my teapot rather well, wouldn't you say? I'm just going to drink from it. Three pound fifty from Sainsbury's. It's got this lovely rib detail to it as well under the glaze. So we've got this. And it's a really nice thin thinner rim and then it gets thicker so it's nice because your tea always tastes better out of a thinner thinner rim cut and it's got like the little red rim £3.50 so I've got that for myself because you know I'm mum I need to treat myself sometimes if I don't treat myself enough um, and then I had to get this now this was so so cute I got this now this is giving me Emma Bridgewater vibes in Sainsbury's these were in the sale in the habitat range I am sure I paid £4.50 for this um I can't remember what I done because where I went, I just went with my coat with my purse in my pocket. It was like a last minute thing to go get some bits um, that we needed. We like run out of butter, we run out of milk and bits like that. So I've run and done a quick one. Um, but yeah, butter and jam. I thought it was really cute. It's a little toast rack. But I, I thought it was so cute. And it really looks like my egg, um, my egg stand that I had there for years until the eggs exploded and then ruined it and I couldn't keep it anymore. But yeah. Butter and jam, I thought that'd be really nice from the table. And I also got, these were 2.50, I think they are the tapered dinner candles. Now, I did show a video of painting candles, so you can do this at home. But to be honest with you, I was gonna have to go and buy some pink candles to burn anyway, to melt, to actually paint. So I thought, you know what, it's about the same price. I'll just get some ready little made ones. And I'm gonna pop these on the table. And I just think they're lovely. Because I do have a few little decorations that I put out for Valentine's as well. Um, but I just thought they were really cute as well. Then I got from the pound shop last week, which I thought was really cute. But obviously, it doesn't warrant a haul during a pound shop haul. Because there's only two things that I got. I got these little heart spoons. They've got like a heart end on the bottom. Little gold teaspoons. For a pound. Pack of two. So, so cute. And they're lovely. I'm sorry, but I just thought they were really lovely for like your morning cup of tea or coffee. And I'm just going to use them all year round. Why not? With the teacup, <laughs> with, the, with the teapot, it's just going to be amazing. And then I also got some food boxes. So this is a two pack of food boxes. So when I say I'm going to make all the pancakes and stuff like that, I'm also going to make some little cupcakes tonight before. So I thought I'll pop in these little boxes. So for the next day, there's some little cupcakes. We can have a little pot of tea on the table, have some pancakes and cakes. Just indulge as it will be the valentine's weekend not doing it actually on valentine's day and um yeah little heart boxes for a pound pack of two i thought they were really really cute so i'm going to pop these away and then i'm going to decorate for valentine's i've got a few bits from like a little company from etsy i made a few bits myself as well so i'm going to decorate for valentine's and then i always do chalk pens for albert alfie's birthday on the bifold doors do little patterns and stuff and like have a happy birthday. So I like to keep a lot of the valentines -y stuff like in the kitchen because we're in here eating our like nice breakfast and stuff and like up the breakfast bar on the table. So it isn't encroaching on his birthday stuff that we have all in the lounge and everything. Um, but I am gonna show you as well because I thought this would be quite convenient. And you know what? They've asked me to collaborate and I could have just stuck this in a different video, but I am gonna add this now because as I'm showing you Valentine's stuff, one of the meals actually is for Valentine's, which I got because I'm not the greatest at making it. I've actually got a funny story of one time I tried to make it. So I've just had my Hello Fresh delivered box, box delivered, making sure not to get my address on it. <laughs> so if you don't know what Hello Fresh are, they are a company where you go online, you pick your meals, and they get sent deliver like sent to your door conveniently. It's completely fresh. It's all wrapped perfectly. You have got like, the cooler bag bits in there as well for your meat and stuff to keep it fresh. Um, and you have the perfect amount, so there's no wastage. I love it because I found where I'm a big family, I always have to buy really large quantities of stuff for meals and there's always something left over where I buy doubles. But actually, you've got the option on there to pick for how many people you're having it for, which is great. Um, so where a family is six, that works out perfect because they do two or four and I can always add more on there for the six of us and then there's no wastage. It's literally the perfect size portions. And that's another thing as well that I do struggle with, I've got to be honest with you, before having HelloFresh, I always used to overindulge on the plate and there's always be food left over and I feel quite guilty for it, but this is the perfect size portions. I'm gonna show you what dinners we're having. Anyway. This is one's for Valentine's, I'll show you that one in a minute. So I've got this one's for the kids and us because it's quite a nice family hearty dinner. So this is one of their ultimate meals. It takes 40 to 45 minutes to prepare and cook um, and four of your five a day. And you've got all your ingredients there. So you've got your mince, everything you need is physically in there, even your sauces and stuff. Um, like the red wine jus paste. 
Like, I'm sorry, how many times have I to go out when I've seen a recipe in a cookbook and buy like a whole bottle of something and then it never gets used again because it can only be used in that one, one recipe. The fact that you get sent out the right amount for that just feels less wasteful. And you get all your ingredients on the back, all your nutrition, and then a step-by-step -step guide on how to cook it and prepare it, which is great. So we're having the ultimate oh, cheesy lamb shepherd's pie. And we're also going to have the creamy rigatoni. So I love pasta. Pasta is my nemesis. So we're having the creamy rigatoni. And then we are having the stovetop mac and cheese, but it's got a mild spice in it. So this would be for me and Gary. So one of Gary's absolute favourite things to eat is mac and cheese. I try to recreate off of the menu. <laughs> Just off the books. Don't know how we need. You'd think a mac and cheese would be the most simple thing ever. Me trying to make the cheese sauce was the lumpiest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was absolutely awful. And Gary was like, what is this bitter taste? But my mum's partner, Sean, makes the most incredible mac and cheese. And we had some with our Christmas dinner. He bought some, like we bought some over, we had like an early faux Christmas at my mum and his house. Um, and that was really lovely. And then when we do our Christmas Eve party for family here, I said, go on, Sean, you've got to make a mac and cheese. So he bought a big mac and cheese with, as well as all the buffet food we did. And since then, Gary has been craving it. So even though it's his favourite, he is now craving mac and cheese. So I'm going to set up like a little mum and dad dinner um, day up the table, just me and him. And, you know, once the children are in bed, small little tiny glass of wine. Gary will probably have Pepsi, so we probably are because we're not drinkers. We don't very rarely drink. But, you know, just to set the mood, put it in wine glasses. Why not? Um, and then I'm going to make him a mac and cheese. And then I'm going to probably just make him like a little chocolate pudding or something for after. You can add extras in your HelloFresh. Um, but to be honest with you, I'll probably just end up doing one of them mug recipe ones, you know, where you just pop it in. I might even get a pot of ice cream, share it for two. Why not? My discount code here with you guys. And if you use that, you get a big discount off. I'll leave it here. So all your bags are numbered um, and they come with the menu here. So you can literally just grab it out the cupboard um, when you're ready to cook it. It's all kept in one place. Really, really simple and easy. So all your ingredients are included, so you've got your creme fraiche, the grated cheese. Now, if you'd have had to bought these from the supermarket in large portions, it would have actually cost quite a lot more, but these are all measured out the perfect amounts that you need. They did send a whole bulb of garlic, but I need to use some of that in my other meal as well. So it just says one clove for this is all you're going to need. Um, even the vegetable stock paste they've got ready. So you just have the perfect portion sent out and all the vegetables and fruits and stuff that you get with these meals are all really, really fresh. And the meat is great as well because you can put it in the fridge and it has a decent shelf life on it, like a fridge life. I'm not gonna lie, it smells absolutely delicious. But this might be my favourite. I might have to uh, order another one of these for a date night instead of the macaroni cheese. No, I'll let Gary have the macaroni cheese. Watch me burn my mouth now because I just can't wait to eat. Mm. You can really taste the garlic in that. Really lovely and cheesy and creamy. That's amazing. I love that. I'd love to spinach out with this one. So it does come with spinach. Um, I do love spinach. If I was doing it for just two people, me and Gary, I would do that. But Archie and Alfie don't like spinach. Obviously, they're having this too. Um, that's amazing. And I can imagine with the spinach, it's even nicer because I do really love spinach. Mm. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to leave my discount code here again if you want to use it. It is a fab offer, really. I love using HelloFresh. So when they asked me to collaborate, I was like, yes. Because <laughs> then I got my box for free, which is just great. Um, so yeah, I just... Um, I love using them. I have done for a long time. If you've been around here for a long time, you will know that I have used these now for years. Um, and the best time was when we just had Albert. That was incredible because actually it was really, really hard. And Gary will never say, and I know men sometimes are like really present in the kitchen. Gary will never say he can cook very well. He'll make a nice bacon sandwich um, and he can do a spaghetti bolognese. But he did struggle a bit with the dinners and he absolutely loved when they had a fresh would come because he'd be able to cook a meal 
give me a break and the kids would enjoy it and not say, oh, dad, you put too much of this and it tastes weird, like sometimes they do. Or one time when he made spaghetti bolognese and got to drain the pasta properly and it was just like a, literally it was the shape of the colander where it just all got stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> I just get a pie that night. Um, and yeah, it was just really simple for him to follow as well. Um, so, you know, we, we really love HelloFresh in this house. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Take care. Bye.